So when you look at something like AVAX, uh, we completely lost. We had like a Fibonacci level at like $53. We completely lost that. Um, it needs to hold $24 support. It really does need to hold that. So if you kind of look here, uh, that level of support that goes all the way back to, what's that? You know, Feb 2021, so over a year. So it's a very, very strong level of support. Uh, we lose that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we do. I really, I really wouldn't be surprised if we do. Uh, from there, twenty dollars, and then from there, the psychological level of ten dollars. But you know, um, AVAX has a ten to eleven percent staking, um, uh, I guess, mechanism right now, which accounts for you know, all, like the inflation, because a lot of coins do have inflation. It's a long-term thing. You only need twenty-five AVAX to do that. So me, I'm, I'm buying every time we sort of go through a level. I'm buying a little bit, but less than I normally would. So, um, I, I, well, sorry, one last thing I will talk about because this is something people are worried about, and rightly so, is Luna, right? So, Luna came and crashed everyone's party, but it's arguable that these things were going to happen anyway. It's arguable that some of these things are some sort of market manipulation, which whether that's true or not is irrelevant. But, you know, either way, this was going to happen. This just kind of yeah. sort of expedited. Now, the Luna Foundation does have <coughs> 2 million AVAX which isn't a crazy amount. I think it's less than 10%. So it's enough to make a dent, but it's not enough to crash this down to zero. So for the people saying that Luna is going to crash uh, or Doquan is going to crash um, AVAX like Luna and UST, that's not going to happen. Luna's, uh, sorry, AVAX's ecosystem is not reliant on, um, you know, that, that mechanism that they have. And it's still the third or fourth highest total value locked chain on DeFi Llama as well.